Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at rebasing, which is a way of merging data from one branch to another. So similar to doing a, a standard merge, but in this way you can keep the history looking more linear, looking like you made the changes on the original branch rather than on your feature branch. Um, so we're gonna step through an example here and we can see exactly what's happening. We've got the visual uh, graph here. It will help allow us to see what exactly is going on. So I clear this one down and we'll create a little demo here. Um, so let's do a git init. And so we're on the master branch. Let's just add a, a master stuff to our file here, say main.js. And we can add that in. And we'll just call that commit initial and then update our visual. So we can see where we're starting off here. Uh, let's run this. So we've got a master branch. We've got our initial commit here points to a tree which points to our blob which is our file if we look at that file we can see yeah the contents of that file are just the text master stuff okay so let's let's create a feature branch put a couple of changes on there and then look about merging it back with a rebase um, so if I do a git checkout feature and then let's do um, some changes here. So feature, well, let's just create a new file actually for this one, yeah. Let's do feature stuff, but let's put it into um, main feature.js. And so we'll do a git add, git commit, and this is um, feature stuff right let's update that so i've got two commits now two branches as well and a couple of files let's run this uh let's keep our master there and here's our feature branch so uh, we can see you can see a little bit here of how git will uh, if, if a file is the same it won't create a new version of it so this this file here has got the same hash so both of our commits are pointing to trees that point to this single file here. Um, and here's our new file here. That's got the um, feature stuff text in it. Uh, and this one's still just got master stuff. All right, so, okay, let's do another change on the feature branch. Let's, uh, let's just add something to that new file. Let's, let's add feature stuff too. And we'll keep that into feature. Uh, what do I call the file? Just feature. File name. Main feature. Main feature. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so let's do git add and git commit. What was this? This is feature stuff two. All right, that should all be in there. So we should have two commits on the feature branch and one on the master at the moment. Uh, let's update this. So here's our master branch, still just pointing to the initial commit. Here are our two commits that the feature branch is pointing to. Um, and you can see they're all all of these commits are pointing back to this first blob and then we've got our two updates that we made on feature branch so this one here this file here should have both our changes so it's got the text feature stuff and feature stuff too right now so if you wanted to merge all of this back into our master branch here um, you could do a merge and you would get uh, a new commit here that would point down here and it would have it would have all of these changes it would have feature stuff and feature stuff to text and our master branch would then be just updated to point to here um, so you, yeah with a merge you would just get one commit created and you'd kind of lose that um, that history so with a rebase what that will do this will do um, is grab this and literally add it um, over onto here 
um, because we've only got one commit at the moment here is already there so what we'll do is we'll add a new commit to master and then we'll try and merge it so that all of this moves up here and points to the new commit there and it'll be two commits that we add onto our master branch um, so let's um let's try and show that so i need to get back onto the master branch and we want to make an update on here so we can just change our main file let's do um let's do uh, master stuff two um, and put that into main.js and so what was that that was master stuff two right and let's have one quick last check in there to see where we are so we've got a few commits now right come in here give this a run let's grab our master branch we should have two commits yes yeah, so it's got master stuff two and the initial commit and then the feature has still got these two commits here so when we when what we, when we do the um, rebase we're going to grab this we're going to just move it up here and it will it will all be there and point to this so these two commits will appear in this history for master um, rather than just one appearing there okay let's 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 give that a go so what do we need to do we need to go on to our feature branch so let's check out feature and then we can just do git rebase and we want to rebase onto master okay so in this scenario i've done it with no conflicts uh, i might do another video with conflicts because then it's just we just got to resolve them but in this case there's no conflict so it's just done it straight away um so what i'll do on this occasion is i'll, I'll keep this so we can refer back to it um and we'll run a new one up here i do need to regenerate it first so let's let's go in here and do a visual so we'll get our new our new uh, tree showing here now okay so that's all run and let's run this one all right uh where's master here's master so should be too much change on master uh, there's our initial commit here's feature just try and tidy this up so we can see it um yoink yoink another commit down there and there so these yeah so these are here all right uh let me get these down here all right so here is our feature here's our feature branch that we initially created and we had our two commits uh and you can see up here now we've done the rebase uh there's two commits with the same the same name so feature stuff this one here is feature stuff uh can i zoom in a bit let me, let me try and zoom in a bit um all right so yeah so here's here's the, the two commits that we made and now they're well after rebase they're here and they're based on the latest the tip of the master branch here um, and and these ones are, are kind of just redundant now and the feature branch points to our latest commit there so we got this we got this um we got this nice route down from feature now a linear history going back with with all the details so if we if we go into the log if we do um we can see we've got the initial master stuff feature stuff and then feature stuff too so it's it's kept all of those commits rather than put squashing them down into the one merge commit um, 
if I come back in here yeah we can see that there all right so that's how you do um, a rebase it's kind of like personal preference do you want to do a merge uh, do you want to do a rebase up to you it depends how you want it to look in your history there all right I hope that was interesting uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if not though uh, but thanks for watching catch you next time bye